Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd share this, a little short clip of how I process my firewood or how I've been doing it lately. Normally in the past I'd just chop it every bit up, the axe and the wood and all, but yeah, I've got some problems with my neck. Not going to use it as an excuse, but just the jar from the wood maul and the axe just, it just doesn't feel very good. So. What I'll do is take the, if I don't think that the splitter will split it, I'll quarter it up, like you're watching me doing here first. Some of those big logs are so heavy that I just, it's just a pain in the ass to try to get them up onto the splitter. And you'll see the splitter I'm using is a little 5 ton Harbor Freight electric splitter. I've got a video on it thing works great for what it is. It will split some big wood if it's completely seasoned out, but a lot of this is a little still a little green. See this is starting to turn black in the center where it's set on the ground. God cut up a bunch of saw logs and not sure what happened but he didn't get hauled to the wheel and just kind of set for a year or so. <laughs> As you can see they don't season out just laying. <laughs> you have to cut that stuff up and chop it up. Unless the tree was dead when you cut it down. I quarter it up in or quarter it up into pretty small pieces. My stove in the house, I've got an old Ashley stove. It doesn't like big pieces of wood at all, no matter what it is. I've got an old stove chromatic wood co stove in my gym, that thing'll doesn't really matter what the hell you put in it, it'll burn it. Anyway, this is how I do it. Thought I'd share. So you can watch this thing. Does a really good job. Normally, before I got this, I'd sit with the hatchet and the hammer on the porch and chop it up into smaller pieces. But this little thing's awesome for what little bit of money it cost. I think I'd like less than two fifty in it with a coupon and. So far, I've split a lot of wood. <laughs> I'm not even sure what this is. I think it might have been I know there's some poplar in there, but I'm pretty sure that's not poplar. see my ugly wood pile in the back. You gotta have an ugly wood pile. <laughs> Just pieces that I know would not stack very well in my big wood pile I'll throw here and burn in the stove in the gym. We're just stuff that wouldn't split up small enough to go into my stove in the house. I burned wood off and on for about 16 years. <laughs> first five or six years we lived in the house we burned wood and kind of got away from it for a while but I've been burning it here in the gym for about the last uh, four years now my dad same way they burnt well he just started burning wood again here recently but they burned wood and my wife, the house she grew up in, it was just a yearly thing. They always cut wood and burned firewood for heat. I like it a lot better than electric. It's just a better source of heat, and my light bill doesn't triple during the winter.
I'm going to push it around to the woodshed. This is on the back side of my gym. This is just an old garage post building that was boxed in. Ended up building a garage back on the other side of it. This woodshed's roughly, oh gosh, 20 feet by, by 4 feet. Maybe more than 20 feet. As you can see, it will hold a lot of wood. And I've had this thing full back in November, and I burnt almost every piece of wood in it. Working on filling it back up. A lot of this will be next year's wood because it's green. Not real green, but it'll take it a month or so to season out. But anyway, if you watch this, I appreciate it. Have a good day.